Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're doing a bullet journal, which is my new obsession. My friend actually got me hooked onto this. So it's a bullet journal. Um, you make your own calendar basically. And as you can see, you do like a cover page. So this one is basically my only themed one that kind of goes with the month. I've been trying to bust through the months because once school starts, I'm not gonna have time to like make all this, you know, but since it's summer, I have a lot of free time. So I'm busting through the month. So today I'm not actually gonna be doing like August since August is coming up. I'm gonna be doing November, but just know that this is not, I'm not doing like a November theme with like fall leaves and stuff. Like I'm, I'm kind of doing like generic things um, that don't really go along with the month that I'm doing, if that makes sense. So like, let's say the theme that I'm doing today, you really like, but you're like, oh, that's November, I can't do it. Nope, you can do it, just like put July instead. You know what I mean? Like I'll show you, some of them are pretty generic. Like August. That has nothing to do with the month of August, but I did these cute little light fixtures cause I'm obsessed with like mid-century light fixtures and kind of like art deco things. And so I kind of stuck to more jewel tones there. And then this is what the calendar looks like for August. You know, I did like little Edison light bulbs coming down from it, little things on the side. And then here's like my weekly layout. I really like things that are more structured. That's why mine are more simple because when I actually start writing in them, I like them to be structured. So we're gonna be bullet journaling together today for my November one. My theme today is I kind of wanted to do like Chinese paper lanterns or like Moroccan lanterns is like what I have in my head. And then I also follow Amanda Rach Lee and she is a queen, she's amazing. And I found this one that she did and it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna kind of be going off of that. I probably won't do red, I might do like red, pink, orange, just kind of keep it in sunset tones is like kind of what I'm thinking in my head. And I'm gonna kind of like do a similar layout to that because I think it's really pretty. And she is amazing. Go follow her on Instagram because she'll like do like bird's eye view videos of her doing it like a little bit faster. And I love watching those. I could seriously watch them all day because it's just so satisfying seeing someone like very creative, like do it, I don't know. I just like crafty type stuff. Let's get into the video. Okay, wow, this looks amazing. Okay, this is so professional, all right. So these are the markers I have been using. I got them at Hobby Lobby. They're the brush markers because one end has the brush tip and it's like a thicker one, and then one has the thin tip, which is amazing for doing the actual calendar where you do the um, all the days. Love that, the brush tip is good for coloring and stuff. I recommend these because I love the colors and these are the ones that my friend has and I don't know, they're just good. And they weren't that expensive. And Hobby Lobby, you know, gets that 40% off coupon, you know what I'm saying. I also have, look how cute this pencil bag is. It has like flamingos on it, love the color. It like matches me today, hi. And I got some, well I need my pencil to sketch. But these gel pens that I bought. So the reason I bought some gel pens, and it can be any gel pens, I got some sparkly ones because once I draw what I wanna draw and like have it done, I kinda like to go in and fill in some stuff with some gel pens because it adds some sparkle to it. And I just like it because it gives a little extra something. So I'm gonna kinda wanna sketch out November first, wherever I want it. So just, I'll like write out November. I don't know what font I'm doing. And then I'll kind of sketch out the lines that I'm gonna be doing of lanterns. This is not the font I'm gonna do. I'm just doing it to get that space so I know kind of where I'm wanting to put November. I think I'm just honestly gonna wing it with the November part. I normally wing it with my writing because I don't trace very well with letters. <laughs> I don't know. I just would prefer to like just write it the way I'm gonna write it. And so I think I'm just gonna write out November and I know I want that for sure in black. So I'm gonna go in with the thin marker 
on the thin side. Here's the thin side of these type of markers. And then here is the brush ended side. And you can see it's like a lot thicker. And then I'm gonna go back and erase some of the pencil that is still showing because I hate when the pencil shows through. When doing bullet journals, Pinterest will be your best friend. So I just went on Pinterest and screenshotted a few things that I like. And I found these type of paper lanterns and some of them seem very simple to do. And you can make them look more intricate with the colors that you use. So I know I kind of like these crinkle ones. So I'm for sure gonna do some of those. Um, I really like this one. I think that one could look really pretty. And I also found ah, this one. And this one has a bunch of different ones. I know I kind of want to do this one. It kind of reminds me of the Chinese architecture and I love that, I think it's beautiful. And then I also kind of want to do this stringy type one with more of the bulb looking ones. And I don't know, we'll just kind of go from there. I kind of want to do some like string ones like that or maybe do some flags. I don't know, I think it'll all come together once I get some of the main ones done. That's kind of how I go about doing things because I have to look at something and then draw it. And so looking up ideas of different lanterns I could do um, really helps me because I can kind of shape the idea of what I want my page to look like. Now that I'm done all sketching this out, I'm gonna go over it with this black thin tip marker. And I'm just gonna outline everything that I just did and I might add in a few just small little beaded lines here and there to kind of fill in the gaps if I feel like it looks a little empty once I'm done doing this. So yeah, I'm just gonna be outlining all of this in black. All right, so now what I do is I go through and choose the colors that I want to color everything in with. So these are kind of the tones I was thinking of doing for these little lanterns. I'm gonna go through and, I don't know, just mix it up, color in what I think would look cute. Now that we finished the cover page, I'm gonna turn the page and on this side, we are gonna start the calendar. For this, I always go into my phone and I go to the actual calendar so I can make it exact. Okay, right, so it starts on a Friday. I normally do eight by eight for these or seven by seven. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate this page, put different little lanterns on it and do some doodles and then we're going to start on the weekly layout. this calendar layout page I really like the way it turned out it is now time to start our weekly layout I really like the look of this one right here I think it's really cool how there's like the boxes and they're kind of imperfectly straight because as you can see on this I didn't use a ruler on it because I don't really care because I kind of like the way unstraight lines look Now that I have the days laid out and I have the dates in the corners, I'm gonna put November at the top just cause I like to have that consistent on all of my weekly layouts. I like to save a month to the top. Now that I wrote the November right here, I think I'm going to do like a little to-do list right here and then leave these blank spaces for like some lanterns and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now.
that is it. We are done with my weekly spread. This is how I'm gonna do the rest of the weeks. Basically like this, I might differ some of the lanterns and like maybe some of the underlying colors, but that is it. And that concludes this bullet journal tutorial. So I'm gonna go to the front and show y'all everything that I have done. So we did this November cover page and we flip and we have the actual calendar. And then we're gonna flip and here is my weekly spread. You know, I know I'm not a professional, I'm not like the best at this, but it's really fun for me and I had fun doing it. All right guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Say hello. Oh yes, he says hi. Okay guys, that concludes this video. I had so much fun doing this bullet journal thing. I know it kind of takes a long time, but like if you have time to do it, then I would take time to do it because it's really satisfying once you finish a spread and you kind of look at it and you're like, dang, that's really cute. You know, I mean, I don't know, that's the way I think. But before I end this video, I wanted to give you all a little bit of encouragement. So, hold on, I'm trying to open my journal. I was reading my Bible the other day and I read this at verse and I just wanted to read it because I don't know, it was really encouraging. And you know when you read something you're like, hit home. I don't know, I just felt really good after I read it. So I'm gonna read it for y'all. This is from Acts 10, 34. Then Peter replied, I see very clearly that God shows no favoritism. In every nation, he accepts those who fear him and do what is right. This is the message of good news for the people of Israel, that there is peace with God through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. How cute is that? I love that verse. I like it because it mentions peace, and I feel like that has been an overarching theme for me, like, I don't know, for a long time. <laughs> and so I always just want to feel God's peace, and I don't know, I felt that was really encouraging, and that God shows no favoritism. God loves all of us equally, and yeah. That's all I wanted to say about that. I just thought it was really encouraging. Wanted y'all to hear that. And that's it for today's video. So if you liked this burn, bull, burn it. <laughs> like this bullet journal tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love for y'all to come back and see more videos from me. And also follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna link that down in the description box below. And I'll also put it on the bottom of the screen. That is it for this video. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.